the 2019 annual conference in Newcastle and Gateshead is really looking at how children and young people can access the arts and that feels like an incredibly pertinent topic to be exploring in Engage's 30th year. And City of Dreams seems the perfect place to be doing this. It's an extraordinarily inspiring 10-year programme which will give children and young people across both Gateshead and Newcastle access to arts and culture. The arts can open a door on a world, a place where young people can find out more about the world around them, their own place within it. I think it's a place of joy, hope and self-discovery. And with everything going on in the world, I think this is more important than ever for everyone to have access to. City of Dreams is, is uh, not just about uh, participation and engagement of young people, it's been about trying to set an agenda for a whole city. It's really difficult being a young person right now and it's so scary to think about all the lost opportunities and um, lack of unity that is coming in a lot of discourses. And if our young people are going to survive and thrive in today's society, they will need to be resourceful, adaptive, flexible. They'll need to be creative. I remember being a kid in the shadows. Can you imagine? Now when they see me, they say that I'm the one to make it happen. I was going to move to London, but they told me, hold it down. If they walk with me, then I'm a legend in my town. But I don't care about the crown. I just want to be an inspiration to tell everyone in this room. If you want it, you can make it. You don't need to fake it. All you need to be is yourselves. Because when you follow trends, they soon change and you get shelved. I've been rolling through the city like I don't need no help. All I need is my family, friends, fans and myself. And I know what they mean when they say the sky is the limit. All you need to do is go after your dream. So that uncertainty is, is something that you have to embrace and I've realised that if I'm feeling uncertain then I am co-producing and I am giving that power and that, that ownership over. I want to challenge the cultural sector to lead beyond the requirements of the Equality Act, to go beyond reasonable adjustment. We have to do this because the cultural sector is regarded as an exemplar of public good and it follows that we must adopt standards which are often in advance of the law. I want us to demonstrate that our national culture can truly embrace and value disabled people as artists, as employees, as audiences, as equals. We are sitting here talking about kind of engaging children and young people, but I think the starting point is needs to be led by young people and how to ensure that okay it might be a question of funding is is there um are people subsidized are they can you can you pay for travel costs are you working with grassroots organizations that target specific groups how is the call made out what's the language that's being used in the open call does it say that it's it's for anyone is the language jargon everybody should come to conference i think it is a highlight in our year as gallery professionals it's an opportunity to get together, to celebrate, to talk, to share, to find out, to learn and to reflect. And I think it's so rare that we get that space in the way that we work. We're so fast, we don't get the opportunity to, to relax and to reflect and to talk. And I think that's so, so important in our practice.